Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what your spirit guides, what the universe here, what your tarot guides want you to know right now. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, oh, you can't see. All right, so some of you have been feeling a little bit stuck in life, but you know, you're not stuck, okay? Some of you have been experiencing a certain amount of delays or setbacks in your life or in your professional life, in your relationships, your romantic life. Um, you know, some things here have been stalled, they've been delayed, there's been some setback, there's been some pushback that you're receiving. None of this is coincidental. None of this is happening by accident. None of this is happening randomly. Um, for some of you, and it's like the more you push, the more you're met with resistance. Or the more you feel like you seem to be doing, the less results you're seeing. Or the more you really want something, the further you're pushing it away. Um, there's a reason behind what you're experiencing right now. This stagnation, this setback here. Essentially, the universe wants you to take a closer look at where it is that you're going. Is it really your path? Maybe some of you have, you know, taken a detour. Maybe some of you have derailed and went off tracks. Um, because some of you, what the universe wants you is to redefine, redefine your goals, redefine your path in life or your career path. And maybe start redirecting it. Some of you maybe have taken a shortcut somewhere along the way and you've ended up on the wrong path. Um, and some of you, maybe you thought you want this, but what you really want is that. So these setbacks, the fact that the very fact that things aren't happening for you fast enough or not happening for you at all is an opportunity for you to take a closer look and see what's really going on here. Maybe because, you know, where you're going isn't really... The direction you want to take things in or maybe some of you are lost and you feel directionless and maybe that's why you feel the stagnation so it's time to do some self-reflection there's a lot of uncertainty in your energy as of lately there's a lot of push and pull and a lot of inconsistencies with how you feel and how you act it's time to re to find a center it's time to balance um, because you know you can there's a bit of chaos in the energies but you can restore order to this chaotic energy and you can move forward with something or with someone this stagnation that you're experiencing is there for a reason only you know what that reason is because your reason is unique and individual to you and you alone so if there is something, and this is just an example, if some things are going around in circles and not working out with a certain individual, it could very well be because you're trying to force fit the situation and that person isn't really your person, even though you so desperately want to make things work with them. Um, or some of you, you keep getting into the same relationship, different people, different faces, but essentially the same relationship. So there's some sort of pattern, okay? You might be going for the same type of, even though they're different people underneath, they're all, you know, they're the same kind of, um, they've got the same intentions here. So there's some sort of trend or some sort of pattern or rather some sort of paradigm that maybe needs shifting and needs a closer look for you. So just because you're stuck, it doesn't mean that you need to stay there. Or just because you're uncertain doesn't mean that you're not going to get the clarity that you want or the clarity that you need. So now's a really opportune time to take a look at what isn't or what is working out for you. And, you know, wh where do you want to go? Where do you want to end up? Is this the path that you see yourself on? Um, 
and if you've always wanted you know to switch up careers or if you just want to do something different um, if you want to put yourself on a different path it's your life you're allowed to you're absolutely allowed to do that um, to move forward you have to let go I don't know if that means you gotta let go of someone I don't know if it means you have to let go of your fears your insecurities you have to let go of your paradigms your habits that hold you back you know what in what needs to um, what you need to let go of you need you only you know what needs letting go of because you're the one that's clutching onto it so tightly for, for fear of it eluding you or for fear of you know you identify with this thing so much that you feel like it's a part of your identity and without it you feel like maybe it's a loss of identity mm -hmm. um there is someone from the past here who I feel like you're, you may be still stuck on. It could be um, a past person. It could be a past situation, um, you know, a, a past relationship of some sort. It's okay. And it's okay to revisit the past. But some of you are still stuck on this very thing. And maybe the reason why you're stuck on it is because you need closure. Or maybe you haven't dealt with the situation. You know, you haven't process those emotions that have stemmed from the situation or you haven't you've never you know fully closed the chapter on this very thing whatever that may be for you it's hard to move on when you're still it's hard to move on when you're still holding on to the past it's hard to move forward and maybe that's what's been the basis for you being stuck all along guys there are absolutely some things that you're not seeing. There are some people that essentially, even though they're different people, they keep teaching you the same lesson, but you're not, maybe you're just too closed off to it. Maybe you're just oblivious to it, but you keep experiencing, it's almost like deja, like Groundhog Day, or you, you, you know, you keep having like deja vu because you keep experiencing the same situation or the same feelings, the same circumstances again and again. There's a reason behind it. You're not going crazy, I promise you this. There's a reason behind it. It's because there's a lesson there or there's a message there, but you're not picking up on that lesson or the message that the Tower Guides or the universe wants to communicate with you. And the universe is very persistent, okay? It won't give up on you. It won't give up on conveying its message to you. So... That's why you keep experiencing the same or very similar situations. So something that you're not seeing, it's all, it's it's there, but you're not seeing it. Maybe because you're scared to see it, because then that would mean you have to admit that you're in denial. Maybe because you know you're looking the wrong way, even though it's right in front of you, you're looking elsewhere. Maybe you're seeing the situation, but instead of seeing the red flag as red, you're seeing it as green. So something he needs illuminating. The universe keeps highlighting it to you. You're still not seeing it. Take a closer look. It's there. Also, the cards are warning you against making any impulsive or irrational decisions, especially over the next few weeks or days. These are not favored right now. Okay, if you're not sure, it's okay. You're not sure. Don't make any decisions if you're sitting on the fence about something or if you don't know whether you know it's a good idea or it's a bad idea if you're if you want to hold off hold off clarity will come but you have to allow for you know you have to create the space and allow for it to come into your life okay guys and these are the messages for you thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye